Emergency workers protested at court today as a woman accused of stabbing an EMT face to judge. Now, that woman's lawyers are trying to make the case that she shouldn't be held responsible for the attack. But the victim definitely does not agree, as WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer shows us. The case here cannot proceed until the suspect is deemed competent to stand trial. Now, Julie Tejeda's mental health status needs to be reevaluated to determine if that can happen. And the judge here today mentioned that she could be released to voluntary housing while receiving continued treatment. It, it is concerning to us. Um, it's concerning for multiple reasons, but you know we might end up encountering her again. A show of support in court today by fellow emergency workers for Elena McAllister. The EMT was stabbed several times during an ambulance ride in July of 2019. I just want to thank everybody for their support, my brothers and sisters on the job, my friends, my family. It means the world to me. It made it much easier. The woman accused of the attack, Julie Tejeda, appeared in court virtually today. She's been committed to a mental health facility for nearly four years since the assault. She has been uh, hospitalized in this, in this entire time. DMH has been looking, has I think maintained that they believe, do believe that she's not competent. Now an update on Tejeda's mental health status is needed before the case can go to trial. She needs to continue to get the treatment that she needs to get so she can become competent and stand trial for what she did. A judge will hold another hearing on April 3rd before deciding whether or not to let Tejeda out of Shattuck Hospital. Assaulting an EMT is not okay. Assaulting anybody in public safety is not okay. And we're still going to fight for justice for Elena. In Boston, Jordan Jagalins or WBZ News. Well,